You don't want to be in the shot? Oh, oh, you want to be in the shot. Got it. Got it. Some quick dog slobber. Let's just uh, fix that. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be focusing on unwinding, getting unready, and just finishing your day on a relaxing good note. I know everyone's job is different, but I think we can all agree that sometimes on work weekdays, you just can't control what aspect of your job is going to need the most attention, how much stress a day can bring on to you and your body. So being able to take control of your evening routine and just setting different habits and things that will relax you and ground you and sort of bring you back to that sort of best version of you. It's seven o'clock right now. I've got dinner on the way. I'm actually home alone right now. I quickly want to just clean up our bedroom. So our first task event of the evening is to set a 20 minute timer and just go through and sort of clean out this room. I recommend this trick to you guys all the time, but time batching is like the best and only way that I can focus on one thing at a time. Food came and my boyfriend came at the same time. <laughs> Isn't it fun when you come at the same time? A vegan burger and some fries. Let's go back to our little quick cleaning session. We are joined by Phineas with a quick heated discussion because those happen in every relationship. Sometimes you have disagreements and you just gotta hash them out in the middle of a cleaning process. Let's get into our jammies. And by jammies, I just mean sweatpants because I like to be comfortable. Our cleaning session was Claudia cleaning while I followed her around talking. Oh no, it's fully my own cleaning session. I, oh, I you're not that very Clear. I'm glad. I was worried that I was being painted. No, it as a was all filmed. Helping. No, it was all filmed and recorded. Oh, just now in the in the closet. Yeah. There's a couple of really good like points where I look at the camera. <laughs> Hi. Pretty much as soon as I can take off my day's makeup, I like to do that as soon as possible. I'm just gonna put a headband on. Wash your hands, of course. I'm gonna start off by taking off my makeup with a cleansing oil. I like to wash my face in two steps. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this. I talk about her at nauseum, but I really, really love Viva. So I'm using her gentle cleanser and I'm just going to lather that onto the skin. Some hydrating toner. Missed this. My favorite area to have fun with my skincare is the serum that I'm using because there's so many out there for different needs, different goals, different target areas, stuff like that. Today we're gonna be using the YSL Pure Shots Night Reboot Serum. This serum helps to reduce signs of fatigue by the first morning. So it basically just helps to reboot and re-energize your skin while you're sleeping. Make sure to shake it up. Pump it on the hands. I'm going to glide it over my skin and then press it in to really let it absorb. The formulation of this serum gently removes dead skin cells while locking in moisture for a smooth and radiant complexion. I also love that this serum is refillable. The packaging is 100% recycled and 95% of plastic is saved with the purchase of a refill instead of buying an entirely new product. To lock everything in, I always like to apply a moisturizer. I'm just using the Daily Moisturizer from Biba. I'm going to press that on top of everything else. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle because I like to chug a bunch of water as I'm winding down, make sure that I'm hydrated while I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Beaches, off! Hey! What is this? Come down. on, off! Down! Down, off! No, 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 no. No devilish behavior. Almost every single night we end up watching something, whether it's an episode of a TV show that we are marathoning or it's a movie. 50-50. I think I want to start the Paris Hilton documentary. So that's what we're gonna watch tonight. Highly recommend watching that documentary. It really shows that you just don't know everything about everyone's life. Wow. 
This part of my evening routine is actually my favorite. I prepare for tomorrow on my iPad. As you guys know, I sort of follow like my own to-do list template. It looks like this, I created on Procreate. I'm gonna go through and see what I did not check off or do today. <gasps> Writing that down immediately. <laughs> a lot of my list making sort of in my head happens in my bed. And so writing out a list helps me to just clear that off and not, so okay, wow. Really just everything <laughs> has to be happening right now. What are you barking at? I'm gonna do some quick game planning. If this at all interests you guys, so far I've written down import footage, this footage, edit, film overlays and voiceovers, send video to team, pick up birth control, call with attorney, respond to Kirby, research manufacturers. What else do I need to do? Backup, computer. So once I have tomorrow planned, that's all good. I tuck this away, I grab my phone, I place it on its charging pad. And I've been really, really trying to read before I go to bed. It just helps me to honestly get more tired. I feel like screens just keep me awake and keep my brain just going and going and falling asleep to book pages really works. I've actually been rereading a book because it was brought up in conversation with one of my best friends, Lauren. It's called You Can Heal Your Life. I feel like I've talked about this maybe Two years ago or something and I'm rereading it because she reminded me why I loved it so much it talks a lot about how the experiences that you have and sort of the life that you build around yourself a lot of it is seeded with your thoughts and your thought patterns I'm sure it's not for everyone there's one portion of the book where the author describes the process of sort of cleaning out like your mental house so you know when you're cleaning your bedroom like you are picking up all of these items and deciding do I want to donate this? Do I want to throw this out? Do I want to keep this? And she kind of does the same with her thought patterns and I thought that was really interesting. This book is filled with so many different activities, anywhere ranging from visualization work to meditating to just repeating a mantra to yourself or also exercises where you have to write down honest thoughts and beliefs that are ingrained in your mind. And one of the things that I loved was, would you really go dig into yesterday's garbage to make tonight's meal? Do you dig into old mental garbage to create tomorrow's experiences? If a thought or belief does not serve you, let it go. I am going to read a few of these pages now. And now we go to sleep with our retainers in. Mine, mine is so fucked up. What is it? Because you you're not wearing it enough? No, because I wear it.